How's it going, guys? I am Matthias, and this is my lovely wife, Amanda Hi, Faye. Guys. And today, we are just getting ready, honestly. It's getting really, really close. I have a Team Edge shoot day tomorrow, which probably was a stupid idea so close to the move. I don't know why I did that. Why? Why did you do that? Because I bite off more than I can chew. It's, it's a habit. Because okay, I'm hungry, baby. What? Well, now I'm hungry. <laughs> Anyways, um, I definitely bite off more than I can chew, but uh, today what I'm doing is shooting all the outro. So what I basically do is I shoot the initial video for 12 Days of Matthias, and then depending on what I'm giving away, I shoot the outros later so I can put the outros on random videos and swap them back and forth in case brands want me to switch the date and blah blah blah. But today, officially, I'm giving away some really, really awesome stuff. Um, on 12 Days of Matthias starting December 1st. Those giveaways are uh, a Samsung camera, GoPros, PS4, a drone, um, uh, TV subscriptions, uh, s crazy cool things. I'm trying to remember, I'm, I'm hoping a hoverboard, but uh, the brand hasn't been communicating properly with me, so maybe not a hoverboard, but anyways, all those other things are awesome. Some are US, some aren't, but you know, Shipping costs, if you're familiar with, are seriously hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Like to ship a hoverboard internationally, it's like $300. Crazy. Um, so that's not in the budget, but check out this stuff today. Look at all of these FireTech bows. These are so awesome. We, did, we use these in the Team Edge videos, and FireTech is actually sponsoring one of our videos, so they sent us over a ton of FireTech gear, and we are super excited about that. We're gonna shoot that tomorrow. Um, super stoked. But other than that, just a lot of shooting today, editing, getting prepped. Yeah, I'm gonna be packing. You're gonna be packing? Yeah, I brought home those bins from the Crazy Crew. And I'm gonna be packing away stuff that we don't really use just to get a head start. Yeah, see those bins over there? Good amount of bins. Oh, it's about to start getting messy. This place is already messy. It's gonna start getting clean. Finished shooting, finally. That was the last thing I'll ever shoot in this apartment, besides this vlog, obviously. But that was the last time I'll ever shoot in this bath bathroom? <laughs> Backdrop. <laughs> I never shot in the bathroom, I promise. Actually, that's not true. I shot in the bathroom a lot, um, but not weird stuff. Um, okay, this is just a train wreck of a vlog right now. I'm starting a new section. Uh, what are you, where are you going right now, Amanda? I have a engagement shoot to go shoot, and um, then we're gonna come back. Whoa. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Then we're gonna come back and start packing. Yeah, we're gonna start packing. Woo! It's getting there. We have Team Edge tomorrow, um, which is gonna deter a little bit from that. Um, but we're hiring movers, as you guys know, and we're packing up all of like the expensive kind of stuff that we don't want lost or broken. Um, electronics, lenses, cameras, stuff like that. Um, yeah, and, and then everything else they're gonna do. So I have to go out and get some packing material. She's gonna go out and do some photo stuff. And uh, I also have to get some stuff for Team Edge. All right, bye babe. Bye, I love you. I love you. Alright, bye. Drive safe. Okie dokie. There she goes. Bye. I don't know, did she wave at me? I, I couldn't tell. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm off on my way to Lowe's right now um, because I'm going to be picking up a thick rope. Now this thick rope I'm hopefully going to be using for a challenge on Team Edge that was inspired by Roman Atwood on his vlog channel. He was using these hoverboards and he had this rope and they did like, quickly did like a tug of war with it. And I was like, okay, maybe we can make a challenge out of that. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, I found the stuff I'm looking for. I think this stuff will work just fine. It's pretty super thick rope here. Um, but now I gotta figure out what, like this contraption on how to cut it or something like that? Yeah, that's pretty cheap too. That should work. It is crazy busy in this place. It is insanely busy. I got everything that I needed to, um, and uh, but it's crazy busy. I, f I have a feeling I'm gonna be coming back here quite a bit when we move. Luckily, it's not too far, so it's Lowe's, by the way. Done for working. 
What did I just say? Done working for the day. <laughs> and I was gonna say, it's really important to, at some points, just stop working and call it a day, even though you, you all, cause you're always gonna have work. And there I go, like, misspeaking because I'm, I'm stressed. Working. I only ever, you guys ever notice when I like, don't speak correctly in the vlogs, it's because I'm super stressed, and like, tension creates, uh, this issue with me where I like stutter or I like talk incorrectly but that being said I'm not that stressed I mean we're moving so I'm stressed <laughs> right now Amanda and I are gonna go for a walk uh, it what time is it 8 8 30 so I probably should have stopped working way earlier yeah but he won't well, I, I I'm stopping I'm stopping we're moving and he's got another team edge day and I got team edge day tomorrow um, yeah so Right now we're gonna go on a walk because I feel a little cooped up. I feel a little like antsy, antsy. like uh, tension. Um, but I have a confession to make. My jeans right now, um, I didn't film it earlier today. My jeans are all dirty. Um, you can't really see that much. What did you do? There's stuff everywhere. Oh yeah, you can kind of see there's dirt and stuff. Um, so <laughs> while you were. <laughs> that, well, I was wondering why you were wearing shorts when I got back. What? I was wearing shorts because they're comfortable. Yeah. Um, while she was going and taking photos, I went into our new neighborhood <laughs> and I like scoped out the joint. What? What? I, How I, I like dirty. <laughs> okay, that's the confession part. Um, that's not a confession. Were you like crawling so much. like an army person? No, 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 no. So I parked and I wanted to see the area behind our house because our our house is similar to this place. There's a wash behind it. And um, there's also a path behind our house. And I saw it on Google Maps. And I was like, is that real? Because I didn't notice it when we went there. So I like, like tried to go up in the hill and like take a look at the path. And like I scraped past a ton of bushes and it got me super dirty. And they were like spiky and the spiky things. And it took me like 10 minutes to get it all off my pants. <laughs> um, yeah. I stepped on one of those when I got in here. I was wondering why. Oh really? No. Oh, that was, you good poker I face. Know. But uh, I, I was just really curious, um, cause the the landlord had moved out and they're just getting it cleaned. There's nobody in it. Well, it looked completely dead. There's nothing in it. Maybe they, maybe they were in it. I don't know. I didn't look. I wasn't like being a creeper. I just drove past it like 15 miles an hour. <laughs> I wasn't like you know like going slow trying to be a weirdo, but. Uh, um, I was kind of being weird. <laughs> that is, is that weird? I'm just so excited. Is that weird? No, well, we didn't really get a, a, a very good look at the place and around it because the people were living in it and it's kind of awkward like walking around somebody else's house when they're still living in it. Like in this apartment when we first looked at it, there was, there was no in one it. in it, there was nothing in it, so I didn't feel awkward staying longer, and measuring, like, yeah. or doing random stuff, but when there's people living and there's like kids running around. Yeah, you gotta be courteous to yeah, them, you like, know, that's their life and exactly. stuff. Exactly. Um, but we're about to go take a walk, so. That was my confession for today. What's yours? Leave it down in the comments below. Don't get too weird. <laughs> my confession is that I ate too much candy today. Oh, really? I ate a Reese's peanut butter cup and I had some Mike and Ike shredders, and that's it. I wish there was some good place to eat around here in my face. There we go. Um, the only the only dessert over here is Cold Stone, and that's freezing. Well, that's not very good either. Yeah, I don't care for Cold Stone much. Where are we going? I have no idea. I wanted to get some food. You do? Yeah, we already ate dinner, but... <laughs> we never walk at night. It's fun. And this is like the safest city in the world. No, I don't know. It's one of them, though. It's definitely one of the safest cities, Santa Clarita. I mean, a lot of you guys have asked, um, since we're moving, uh, is our P.O. box changing? No. Our P.O. box is not changing. If you want to send us fan mail, if you want to send us anything, send it to that P.O. box. It will still reach us. <laughs> so I guess we're going to do some grocery shopping right now? I don't know. I just needed to get out of the house. And sometimes in the morning, I just don't feel well, and I yeah. don't want to take a walk. And yeah. then you have like a lot more things to do, have to make breakfast, yeah. you have to get like your day done, and it kind of feels good to just unwind at night by getting a little exercise. That's true. Uh, I feel it's like that point in time where this looks really good to me right now. You know, the entire time we've lived here, we've only gone there once, and we lived here for like a year. Oh, yeah, we've lived here over a year and a half. Almost two years. And I've only ever been to this McDonald's like maybe twice, maybe. Hey, props for me, am I right? 
Actually, maybe let's go to Big Five Sporting Goods right here. For what? Because there's a bunch of extra space in our house and I was considering getting a treadmill or like an elliptical or something to put that space in so I can like, because I hate running out in the outdoors. That's so tacky. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, but seriously, just like veg out and just like mindlessly exercise and not have to worry about cars hitting you, that's a plus. Weird. Big Five doesn't have gym equipment. What do you know? They have like loose gym equipment. They what? Like loose gym equipment. Oh yeah. yeah, well I already have dumbbells and stuff, like the Bowflex ones. I'm gonna be using those a lot. Get ripped for you. <laughs> what on earth are you? That's a Kiwano Melon. Kiwano Melon. Wow. That's a weird thing. Amanda, what are you here to get? Eggs. Eggs. And some other stuff. And some other stuff. Exciting purchases, guys. Exactly. Oranges, navel oranges, they are winter fruits, actually. Yeah. But uh, I've never had a good navel orange. I don't know, they just... Are these juicing oranges or no? <laughs> I'm not an orange connoisseur, I never eat these. Okay, what is this that I that you just found, Amanda? I found sparkling apple cider and sparkling pear cider, but Zevia brand. Zevia, what? Are you kidding me? I feel slighted. I feel seriously slighted. I didn't know. This How did I not know? I follow Zevia on like all their social accounts, and I'm just not up to date on this. I'm so. I'm gonna tweet them right now. Okay, so this is Zevia apple cider, and yep, erythritol and not uh, sugar. That's pretty cool. I can't have very much of that. Put that in there. Babe, why don't you let me hold that for you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anytime she goes to a store, she walks all the way through the store, grabs hands, hands full, handfuls of items, and uh, then ends up getting a basket. Has no, to walk all the way back to the front of the store to get a basket, because she always buys more than she, you know, it's like the whole like bite off more than you could chew thing, but she does it like in the store. Doing. With words, yeah. No one can hear you. Look, Lacroix comes in big bottles. I didn't know that. Did you ever tell them how much you like Lacroix? I don't think so, guys. I love. LaCroix. It's just it's like sparkling water, but flavored, but no sugar. Again, no artificial sweet. It's not sweet. Okay. Can someone explain this to me, please? I keep. Every, every store, I keep walking around the store, and you see this basket right here? See how the handles are shaped like this? This is not natural to my wrist. My, uh, naturally, I want to do this. I want to do it like this, because that feels natural. But that's super awkward walking around with a wide basket. Is that just me? I mean, maybe I'm new to this whole shopping game. I am super curious about this. Um, I'm always a fan of Zevia products, but apple cider? We have no ice. No idea. We have no ice? No. I give up. I give up. How do I open this thing? See this little tab? Yeah. There we go. You got it? Is this gonna be a... Oh sweet, it's twist off. Nice. Check this out guys. I'm just gonna take a quick sip out of the container because it's my container and I'm not sharing it. Well, I, I'll share it with you, but I don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me, what? It's more fun to drink it out of the container. Is it good? Definitely has that Zevia taste, but it also definitely has that apple cider taste. Jeez. Close enough, honestly. No. No? No. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Zevia just because it like upsets my stomach, so like sometimes I try to not get a taste for it because I'm not allowed to drink it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I have that kidney issue and I'm not really allowed to drink it. Yeah. Um, Zevia, in case you guys didn't know, is a sugar alcohol, uh, erythritol, and in certain cases it does upset digestion. For those that it does, don't drink it, but for those that doesn't upset, no biggie. No biggie, because it's if it doesn't upset you, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so we're home and we're gonna hang out for a little bit. We're gonna chill, we're gonna do what we do when we chill. Hey, that's private information. Don't tell them that, pervert. <laughs> <laughs> we just really hang out and talk, guys. It's, it's all we do. Um, anyways, be sure to let us know down in the comments below what your favorite holiday drink is at this time of year. I like apple cider, sparkling apple cider. 
Spiced beer, yo. The, specifically the Trader Joe's kind. Look at that hair. <laughs> work it, work it, work it. Oh, I'm gonna get dizzy. So leave your answers down in the comments below. And if you guys want to see what we did on Thanksgiving, be sure to click right here and like this video and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. High five.